Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Brooklyn. This is the final press conference for Davis versus Romero. I'm Brian Custer, the host of Showtime Championship Boxing. And on Saturday, May 28th, Showtime Pay-Per-View and Boxing is back at Barclay Center here in Brooklyn. You know, it's been two and a half years since the Barclay Center and Brooklyn has hosted a major event. In fact, it was Showtime Championship Boxing who last held an event at the Barclays Center before the pandemic started. But we're back at the new mecca of boxing here on the East Coast, and we're bringing one of the sport's biggest box office stars. And trust me, that's not hyperbole. If you read the New York Daily News this past week, the headline, Gervonta Tank Davis fight on track to break record for the highest grossing boxing event at Barclay Center. It's big. It's big. You don't even fucking Listen, whether it's the quiet demeanor, whether it's that charismatic smile, or whether it's the di that dynamite in his fist, Tank Davis is box office and one of the sports pound for pound best. But on Saturday, man, he's got his hands full because it's a grudge match for respect. Davis and Roly Romero, well, let's just say they've had some beef for years, but they finally get to settle it with their fists in the ring Saturday on Showtime pay-per-view. Let's talk about Roly Romero. He's unbeaten, just like Tank. He's the number one contender. And just like Davis, known for power, known for knockouts. Listen, somebody's L has to go on Saturday, along with a certified ass whooping. <laughs> That's what we got coming in Saturday on Showtime pay-per-view. It will headline. The whole card on Showtime pay-per-view from Barclays Center. Four fights on that fight card. Broadcast begins at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's 6 o'clock Pacific time. It is presented by Premier Boxing Champions. It's being promoted by Mayweather Promotions, GTD Promotions, and, of course, TGB Promotions as well. Now, listen, you want to be in the house. You want to be at Barclays Center on Saturday, but you gotta act fast. Tickets are going fast. I've give, gotten word that there are only a few hundred left, but you can purchase tickets at SeatGeek.com, BarclaysCenter.com. Tickets are also available at the American Express box office there at Barclays Center as well. You wanna order the fight, you can order Showtime pay-per-view. You can do it through Showtime.com. You can also do it through the Showtime app. Also through all your traditional satellite pay-per-view providers. Let me bring here uh, to the podium one of the promoters, the main promoter of this fight card. He's the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellerby. 
Thank you, Brian. Saturday night. Can't get here fast enough. I've been in and around the sport for well over 45 years. And I can honestly say this is probably one of the most anticipated fights that I've been involved with. And I've seen some of the biggest fights. We promoted the biggest fights in the history of the sport. But as far as anticipation, and it's kind of a, I have a mixed feeling about it because obviously, you know, we promote both guys. So come Saturday night, somebody is going to lose and somebody's getting knocked out. Okay. I know both guys are in tremendous shape. They've had excellent camps. No matter what anyone says, Tank has gotten up for this fight. Roley's gotten up for this fight. And in my eyes, and anyone with common sense should know this is a very, very dangerous fight for both guys. Sometimes the person who's supposed to win, it doesn't come out like that. Sometimes the person who's supposed to win gets it done. They go in there and they show that person that they don't belong in the ring with them, that they're not on that level. But over the last year, we've all witnessed Canelo Alvarez, Manny Pacquiao, Mikey Garcia, Teofimo Lopez, Anthony Joshua, Chris Colbert, all came into their fights with knowing that they were going to win the fight. And somehow, they came up short. When you look at both guys, again, I have a great deal of respect for both guys. You look at Tank, Tank is doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. He's one of the best fighters in the entire world. When you look at Roley Romero, a lot of people, you know, they look at Roley, they say, okay, he's awkward, he can't do this, he can't do that. But I can tell you right now, from just experience, that shit look different until you get up in there, especially when you got them eights on, okay? What we're gonna, come, what we're gonna find out on Saturday night is that the person who's dishing it, can they take it? So tune in Saturday night. I guarantee you this will be a barn burner from the giddy up. Thank you. Thank you, Leonard. Mayweather Promotions. Also, my man Tom Brown is here as well. Where's Tom? Want to acknowledge Tom Brown, TGB Promotions. Always good to see you, Tom. Thank you as well. Uh, let me bring here to the podium now, of course, the man who runs the network, the undisputed leader when it comes to boxing. He's the president, general manager of Showtime Sports, Steven Espinoza. Thank you, guys. And thank you, Brian. This is the third fight on a very intense six-week stretch of six consecutive weekends of high-level boxing on Showtime. Part of an incredible run of top-tier fights, and we have quite a streak going. Our last four main event fights, we got four all-action fights, four stoppages, four decisive endings, you know, on, featuring some of the best fighters in the sport. April 9th, Lubin Fundora, fight of the year quality fight, fight of the year candidate, in a thrilling back and forth fight, Fundora gets a stoppage in the ninth round. April 16th, Errol Spence, your Dennis Ugas, another thrilling fight, and a 10th round TKO. Two weeks ago, the big fight for the undisputed title, Charlo Castaño, another thrilling fight. Charlo makes history with a 10th round knockout. Also on that card, Jerron Ennis with a very impressive knockout over previously unbeaten Custio Clayton. And then last week, very impressive performance by David Benavidez with a third round KO. And now we have this, this grudge match between one of the sport's brightest young stars and most popular champions in Gervonta Davis and his most heated rival, the power punching knockout artist, Roly Romero. And there's more to come. Of course, we have Fulton Roman next week, Showbox week after in a, a big Charlo fight against Sulecki in Houston. But bottom line, no other network 
in boxing, anywhere in the world is televising more meaningful, high stakes, entertaining fights. And these guys are all competitive. They watch each other's fights, and that's why we're on this run. No one wants to put up a boring performance in this streak of big time fights. And I am very, very confident that this streak of stoppages is gonna continue. I don't see how this goes 12 rounds. It just doesn't make sense to me. This Saturday will be the 40th boxing event at Barclays Center. The first since the pandemic started in March 2020. Showtime televised the first boxing event ever at Barclays Center. Since then, we've done 20 more, which means this Saturday will be the 22nd Showtime fight at Barclays Center, more than every other network combined. Tank's first fight at Barclays Center was, was memorable in itself. His first title fight, seventh round stoppage of super featherweight world champion Jose Pedraza. Since then, he's sold out venues in LA, in Atlanta, in Baltimore, and now back to Brooklyn, where he'll just on track for another sellout. This will be Tank's 12th time fighting on Showtime, and we're thrilled that we've seen him develop and grow up and mature into the one of the biggest stars in boxing. But every time Tank steps into the ring, it's not just a fight, it's an event. You've seen the showmanship, you've seen the celebrities, you've seen the, the excitement. And this one may be the most exciting fight that Tank's been participating in yet. You know, the sport of boxing is in a very good place. There's a new generation of young stars and the future is very bright. But when you talk about the young stars of boxing, Tank's in a class by himself. His popularity, his fan base, it's resulted in huge crowds, literally coast to coast. There isn't another young fighter in the sport that generates the kind of buzz, the kind of excitement that Tank does. You know, but none of that matters on Saturday night. I mean, it matters to the crowd, but once we get in the ring and the bell rings, then obviously it's a whole different story. Roley has proven himself one of the biggest punchers in boxing. First with the first one KO on Showbox back in 2019, three wins on Showtime Championship Boxing, including a seventh round destruction of former title challenger Anthony Yigit, um, even though Yigit came in as a much bigger fighter. You can call him awkward, you can call him or orthodox, you can say anything you want. One thing you can't argue with is Roley's power. And that's what has everybody so intrigued. There's a great in, uh, undercard with this. We've got featuring both well-known, battle-tested veterans and some of the most exciting young fighters in the sport. Uh, Two-division world champion Arislandi Lara defending his WBA title against Gary O'Sullivan. And then two young rising stars. Jesus Ramos, just 21 years old, 18 and 0, 15 KOs is putting his unbeaten record on the line against a very tough Luke Santa Maria. Uh, Santa Maria, as you all know, recently fought Jesus, his uncle, Abel, and Jesus is looking to avenge that loss. And then the opener, one of the best kept secrets in the lighter weights, Eduardo Ramirez, who is one of the best super featherweights in the world, will battle Puerto Rico's Luis Melendez, a very tough Luis Melendez in a 10 round super featherweight thriller. This will be an exciting night. We're proud to be part of another record setting event and it's something you can't miss. We'll see you Saturday. Thank you, Stephen. I love the way he crafts, gives you the storylines for the fight, get you all excited, but let's be honest folks. When it comes to this sport, sometimes when you're fighting your rival, you just want to get in the ring and say, yo, I'm coming to shut you the F up. That's what we got in the main event. Basically, that's what we have. This thing is going to be fireworks. So let's talk about the fight. Let me introduce some of the guys here at the podium first. To my right, to your left. I mean, since Tank was a youngin, he, along with Kenny Ellis, have trained him on that west side of Baltimore, Upton Boxing Center, Mr. Calvin Ford, everybody. 
to my left, your right. Six years ago, took Roly Romero under his wing, turned a young man from a martial artist into a championship level fighter. He is Mr. Cromwell, Bullet, Gordon. And now, let me introduce the fighters. Start with the challenger. Unbeaten. 14 and 0. 12 knockouts. Eight of his last nine fights have ended in a knockout. He is Rolando Roly Romero. Good rolling. Come on up here. Give a word to the people. And um, listen, I just got a new blazer too, so uh, you know. Look, I just want to say to everybody here, I mean, I'm excited to be over here fighting at the Barclays over here. We're going to have the biggest event ever in the history of Barclays, and I'm excited to be part of that. Make sure to buy a pay-per-view, and you guys are going to see Tank's going to get knocked down one round. Just like that. Not, nothing else need to be said. Now the champion. 26 and 0. 24 knockouts. Listen, before his last fight, he had a streak of 16 straight knockouts that began in 2015. His 92% knockout percentage against his opponents that's the second highest of any current title holder. He's known as Tank. Fighting out of Baltimore, Gervonta Tank Davis. Um, thank everybody for coming out, man. Uh, I appreciate uh, you guys. I definitely appreciate Mayweather Promotion, uh, Al Heyman, um, my personal team. Um, I'm ready, man. I just I'm I'm happy to be at this point. Uh, I feel as though the talking is over. It's time is now. So I'm ready. Uh, we've been working hard in in this camp. Um, we know that you know Roley gonna come out and try to knock me out in the first round. He say so. I'll be ready for that. So uh, I see y'all Saturday, man. The time is now. Ain't no more talking and all this. And I definitely appreciate everybody for coming out for sure. But it's no more talking. The time is here. And I'm ready. Love it. Thank y'all. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about the fight. Tank, we'll start with you. How does it feel to be back here? New York City. Obviously, Brooklyn, where the title reign began. Um... Did I say shout out to Showtime? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. We're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, definitely, um, I'm excited to be back in uh, uh, Barclays. Um, New York, period. New York is definitely a, a great city. Um, it always showed me love when I came came here. Um, it always been like a second home to me. So I'm definitely grateful to be back. Uh, I think the, the what's the uh I forget his name. The one with the son? Uh, what's his name? Brett. Brett. Okay, yeah, shout out to him. I, I don't really know his name, but I know he's he's a big tank fan, so he always showed me love when I come here, so I'm definitely excited, man. I won my first title here. Um then I lost my title on the scale and then came back and won another title in um, New York at the Barclays. So a lot of people don't know that, but I'm definitely excited to be here. Um, I feel as though this is this, this definitely good for boxing. Um, and it's a boxing town, you know what I mean? So I'm excited, man. All in all, I'm grateful to be here. I'm maturing, I'm, I'm still learning as I walk this path. And, um, what can I say, man? I got the people that I started with around me. They're still around me, and I'm just grateful to be here. So Saturday night is his due date. <laughs> really? It's one thing to be fighting on pay-per-view. It's another thing, as you talked about, becoming a star of boxing, 
and you can be, this city produces stars. Your thoughts on fighting in New York City, pay-per-view against Tank? Well, I mean, just being in this position is just like amazing. You know, I started boxing at 17. A lot of people don't realize this. I'm probably the fastest world champion in the history of boxing. I did it with seven years, you know? I only have 14 fights. I don't know anybody else on a pay-per-view platform fighting with only 14 fights, other than, well, with the exception of the YouTubers, you know? So, I did it faster than everybody else, and they have me here for a reason, you know? And like I said, I'm the new face of boxing. Y'all gonna see May 28th, knock Tank out. Javante? If someone said, describe this fight that you're about to have with Roly Romero, how would you describe it? Um, fireworks. Uh, it's going to be crazy in there. I just hope he don't use his elbows like he do a lot. That's it. That's it. We just got to worry about his elbows. That's it. And we, nah, I ain't going to even say it. We know some things. Roley, same question to you. Someone said, describe this fight you're about to have with Javante Davis. How would you describe it? What about all the little low blows that you threw at Little Santa Cruz or when you hit Francisco Fonseca in the back of the head where they should have DQ'd your ass? Shut the fuck up. He's crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm telling the truth, and you know it. They should have DQ'd your ass. And Little Santa Cruz, you hit him with a low blow like 20, 30 seconds before you knocked him out. Who? Oh. Santa Cruz. Or you forgot about that. Oh, yeah, you're punchy. I forgot. <laughs> Javante, how much do you think his awkward style is what they describe, Roly style? How much would that pose a challenge to you Saturday? Uh, I don't think he's awkward. I just think that he, he's, he's a fighter that just started fighting. That's you know how when somebody first come in the gym and like, like yeah, <laughs> when somebody first come in the gym and they like, they've been coming for like a little minute, so they think they nice now. They ain't get all the like everything down packed, but that's how he fight. I don't think he's not he's not like, he's an awkward fighter. Awkward is some I don't want to call no names, but um, awkward is like different from him. He's not awkward. We know awkward fighters. Real fighters know awkward fighters. He's not an awkward fighter. He's just a dumbass fighter. <laughs> nah, no. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny, but. Crowley? All tank, all tank does the same basic ass pad work as everybody else, and they all end up getting knocked the fuck out eventually when they run into a puncher. Just like his uh, big bro, uh, Broner with Maidana, when he beat the shit out of Maidana, is it gonna be Broner Maidana too? You don't got the skills of Maidana. You don't even got them skills. Man, I punch harder than him, and I got way more skills than you. What, like, what? Because you go. Like, Look at him. Fuck shit, no damn skills. Like fucking like doing all that. Pa like the only one doing that shit is Floyd. He's the only one that can do that shit. And you can't do that shit for shit. What? Oh wait. Oh, and do don't you get punched in the face by everybody? <laughs> then you get punched in the face by fucking Santa Cruz. Oh, then Pitbull beat the fuck out of you, man. Shut the fuck. But you up. were just on the interview talking about I, I beat uh, Santa Cruz. I mean uh, Cruz. You said that soon after the fight. You said that. It's on camera. Yeah, I have to say that shit if I want to get this fight. Right? Right. <laughs> Otherwise, they fucking get the damn rematch. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, you want a rematch? Fuck no. Motherfucker, you a bitch. You scared as shit. Hey, Shut the Roley, fuck up. Let me ask you a question, Roly. Trash. You, you, you've been very adamant. You've been very adamant that you're going to stop him in one round. Can you enlighten us? Man, Tell us he, why. Tell man, us why you're so there's no way I can miss you. That's a big ass hands like the koala shape hair. You're a fucking koala with chlamydia, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, you pissing flame. Shut the fuck up. What? What are you saying? <laughs> you're not even saying nothing. Gervonta, you know, one of the things. Look, it's oh, oh, time. Oh, 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 it's time. Oh, 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 oh. Look, it's time. <laughs> And time is now. Fuck all the talking. Time is now, bro. May 28th, I'm yes, going to knock yes, Javante yes, the yes. fuck out. Y'all going to see this. Okay. I'm the face of boxing. I'm the biggest name in boxing. Y'all going to see this shit. 
May 28th, Bar Barclay Center, by the pay-per-view. What? <laughs> Gervonta, let me ask you this. No, sir. Hey, why don't you show everybody your fucking purse again? Come on, bro. Hold on, hold on one second. Gervonta, one of the things you talked about, you said, look, I'm going in for business, but I'm also going to show folks I am what I say I am. Tell us what you mean by that. You said people have been sleeping on you. Gervonta, um, hey, what color are you going to put your nails on fight night? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. See? For real, what, what color are you going to paint your nails on fight now? I want to know. Uh, the are they, are they going to match your outfit? Oh, my God. This guy's a clown. <laughs> this is not. And you're and you a girl. But to answer your question, um, I just want to, you know what I mean? I just want to show people that it's, 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 it's different, different levels. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's definitely different levels when you come to the sport of boxing. It's people that play with boxing. And it's plea that people that have been doing this since they was, you know what I mean, kids. You got somebody that's been doing this since they was seven and somebody that was doing this since they was 17. Like, come on, bro. It's time to show that I'm one of them ones. Like, I ain't nothing to be played with. And it just start with him. It's going to continue, and, and I mean it, for sure. And it ain't, it ain't about, like, uh, this fight. It's about going forward, you know what I mean? Showing them that I'm the top guy of 135 or 130 or 140. We'll wrap it up with this. Rolling for, let's say, a million people who buy this pay-per-view, Let's say the thousands that are coming to the Barclays Center, what can you guarantee that they're going to get when they step into that arena or they turn on Showtime pay-per-view on Saturday, May 28th? Tank flatline on the ground. So show up at Barclays Center May 28th and buy the pay-per-view. Tank, same for you. For those people who are going to spend their hard-earned money to come see you guys fight, what can you guarantee they're going to get on Saturday? Fireworks. Fireworks. Like I said, all the talking is done, man. Time is now. Definitely. Definitely. That's it. It is Saturday. Showtime pay-per-view. Get your tickets at SeatGeek.com, BarclaysCenter.com. You can purchase them at the American Express box office at the Barclays Center. You can go to Showtime.com. To purchase the fight, go to the Showtime app as well. You got two unbeaten fighters, Gervonta Tank Davis.